video, I'm going to show you how to play the alternate picking technique on the bass guitar. I'll give you five exercises to help develop your speed and accuracy with this technique. Just playing downstrokes with a pick is fine for certain bass lines, but if you want to play faster and more complicated bass lines, then you'll need to develop an accurate picking technique, an alternate picking technique. Personally, I play the bass mostly with finger style, but I use a pick sometimes to get that particular sound. I love that P bass sound you can get with a pick, and in certain situations this can sound really funky. I often see debates online about playing with finger style or pick, but for me, as I play professionally, I need to have lots of different bass sounds, and I believe that you're a much more versatile player if you can do both techniques. Make sure you watch the video to the end, because I'll be giving you exercises throughout the lesson, and I'll also show you at the end how to play a more funky style of pick playing. Alternate pick playing is simply just playing a downstroke, then an upstroke. So if you're new to pick playing and alternate picking, then I suggest you just pick one note, like I picked a G, and just play that very slowly. It can be extremely frustrating first of all, and I remember this beginner stage with a pick, and I never thought I'd be able to play fast alternate picking. But with a small amount of specific practice on this each day, I found that I could play fast alternate picking very quickly in a matter of weeks. So we'll now look at exercise number one, and I've got all these exercises written on a PDF with tab and notation, and you can get that below in the description. Exercise one is based on a G major scale and we play each note twice with a downstroke and then an upstroke. Practice this exercise really slowly at first with a metronome and start at say 70 beats per minute and then speed up when you're comfortable with the exercise. By the way, you might want to experiment with different types of picks or plectrums. Um, they come in different grades of thickness and different shapes. I find that the yellow and green Dunlop pickups suit my style of playing. On my website I've got some Greg's Bass Shed branded plectrums that you might want to take a look at and they're on the merch page of gbshed.com and the white ones I've got are the same as the yellow Dunlops and the black ones I've got are the same as the green Dunlops. I've gone through many different types of picks over the years and it did take me a while to find the picks that I like. Exercise two is based on an A major scale, so we're up two frets from the G, and we play triplets this time on each note. And a triplet is where you fit three notes over two. So in this case, we're playing three eighth notes over two eighth notes. exercise because we've got uneven groups of three when you change notes you'll be starting on a downstroke and then the next note on an upstroke so you'll be say we start on A so down up down and then up down up down up down so this is a really good exercise to help you develop starting notes on a downstroke or an upstroke exercise three is based on a B major scale so we're moving up two frets again um, and this time we play 16th notes on each note, so we play four notes on each note. So remember you're doing down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. exercise is really good for accuracy and remember to start slowly and then when you're comfortable and when you're playing even notes then to speed up the exercise and you can get this one really fast. Now we'll move on to exercise four and remember this is all on the PDF which you can get below in the description and exercise number four uses octaves so we'll be skipping strings so on the D and this presents a new challenge to miss out the strings. Some of you might find this really tricky at first, so again play it slowly. So if we start on a D, we're playing two Ds, and then two on the high octave, 
and then D, and then high. And remember to use alternate picking. I find it easier when I go to the octave to play a downstroke. So down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And then we move. And carry on with the exercise. If we move on to exercise five now, this is the last exercise and we get a bit more funk in this exercise and use muted notes. Briefly, for those of you that don't know, to play a muted note, you just rest your left hand lightly on the string. So if we do it on a B, so that's the second fret of the A string, the B, that would be a normal B, and a muted B, just lift your left hand up. And that can give a really nice percussive sound. Players like Bobby Vegas and Cody Wright have really taken this funky pick playing to the next level. Traditionally, um, funk players would use finger style, but this just gives a different angle to the style using a pick. We start this exercise on a C, and then two muted notes on the E, and it helps actually when you get to the higher strings if you keep all your fingers down lightly on the strings. If you just put your finger there, you get a bit too much tone. So, so C, muted, muted, E, muted, muted, F, muted, F sharp, muted, G. So it's a bit of an awkward pattern to get used to first of all. So again, play that slowly until you're comfortable. Well, that's all the exercises for this lesson. I suggest you start all of them slowly, practice with the metronome, and then speed them up gradually over the weeks and months. Do persist with the exercises, and I personally know how frustrating it can be with a pick, and I remember starting myself. And so remember, just practice them slowly, and then very quickly you'll notice some progress. Remember to pick up the PDF below in the description, and also subscribe to me here on YouTube by pressing the red subscribe button in the bottom corner. You might also want to head over to gbshed.com where I've got a free members area and loads more base resources. All the links are also below in the description. This is Greg from Greg's Base Shed. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.